here. I'm with Diego? Yep. Sick. Good morning, everybody. I am out fishing. I'm actually by myself, but I'm with Diego. And, uh, but nobody else. Day three in Mexico. We're gonna catch some fish. Let's do it. All right, made it to the first spot. Need a little context here. Uh, my other videos started out really dark in the morning. We basically, we woke up this morning and it was raining. And as you guys know, cameras don't like the rain. I know that the fish sometimes like the rain, but the cameras don't. So we decided to go sleep for another hour or so. And it's, it's, it's about 9.08 a.m. And uh, so we're now getting a start, but it's okay because the fish for the last couple of days have been biting from like 11 on into the afternoon into the evening. So I don't think I missed a whole lot because uh, yesterday wasn't that great and the day before that wasn't that great in the morning. But we're out here now, like I said, I am with Diego. He's gonna put me on some juice. It is just me by myself fishing, hoping to break my PB. Still on the quest to break my PB of eight pounds, 0.64 decimals. I don't know what that is in ounces, 10 ounces or something like that. Yesterday I caught a seven pound, five ounce fish. So I'm getting there, getting close, but today, I don't know. I've got a good feeling about today. I think it's gonna happen. All right, starting off with the spinner bait. This is what this is what I uh, I caught the big one on yesterday. So I'm gonna stick with it. Day one, I caught the big ones on jigs. Day two, I caught them on spinner baits. It's cloudy, so I don't really know if a spinner bait or a jig is gonna work better. I like spinner baits in cloudy conditions, but then you don't get the flash. So we're just gonna have to give her a shot. But the way I'm using the spinner bait is totally different than anything I've ever done. You throw it out there and you let it sink, and then you just you literally drag it and reel it, just like you would like a Carolina rig. And that's the, that's the technique that we've been using and all the guides and everybody here has been using to catch the big fish. So, so I'm gonna spend the day doing is just dragging the spinnerbait on the bottom, looking for Big Bertha. Oh, no, he came off. It was a small one. Yeah. Oh, he's still there? I don't think so. Oh, he's still there. He is still there. Well, that's not actually that small. Okay, I'll take him. Take uh, it? We're good, we're good. No, I don't need to weigh him. We're okay. Well, folks, there's my first fish. That was very confusing. I did not even know I had a fish for a while, as you guys can tell. See, little guy? That was Henry, by the way. As you can tell, I'm throwing a spinnerbait with massive blades, which put off a lot of drag. So when I felt him hit it and I set the hook, I couldn't tell the difference between the blades and the actual fish itself. But there's a fish. Another tip for you. This is, uh, this is what Steve Parks actually taught me and uh, Terry Odom. See how my spin rate blade is not, not looking too hot? You don't wanna just slam it down because it heats up the wire when you push real quick and then it weakens it. So what you wanna do is you just wanna wiggle it little by little until it gets to where you want it, to where that blade in the arm is, uh, is lined up. That's just another tip for you guys. He taught me that, I didn't even think about that, but it makes sense because if you really, really wrench on this, that's gonna heat up that, that metal, that steel. And, uh, and it'll make your uh, it'll make your blade weaker. So you just kind of want to, little by little, kind of just crimp it down. Don't push too hard until you get it to exactly where you want it, looking like that. Just a few tips for you guys. Just a few tips. What is, uh, what's the biggest bass you've ever caught? This lake? Uh, and if all, anywhere. Uh, 12. Oh, oh my gosh. Was it here? Yeah. Oh, what lure? Uh, Jig? Jig. Jig, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I would freak out if I got a 12 pounder. There's a fish. Yep. Yep. I think it's a small one, though. That is a fish. He's, is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. Little guy. Not what I'm after. Oh, see guy. Oh, I guess that's a fish. There's one. Nope, not a big one. Small one. And he came off. Okay, catch and release. Keep it easy, folks. Oh, I'm so far finding Finding the small fish. You know, my name's Flair and all, but I'm really hoping to catch a big one. Big ones didn't bite yesterday until like noon. So we're getting close. 
We're, it's pretty close to noon. We just gotta find the we gotta find the big fish. So far, I've had three three squeakers is all. Well, folks, it is lunchtime. Diego and I we're struggling right now. Can't find the big fish. Don't know don't know what's going on. We talked to Lake Fork guy. He was fishing by us and he caught a bunch of big fish. So we're doing something wrong. We're gonna and we're gonna move to a different part of the lake. But as you may notice, that shirt there that's the new Guggen Squad shirt. I will link it down below. For those of you guys that do not know, we are giving away a bass boat. It's like a sixteen, seventeen thousand dollar bass boat and a free fishing trip with the Guggen Squad and a bunch of favorite rods and a bunch of favorite rod socks. And all you gotta do is you gotta be, you have to participate in our monthly shirt club. This is the next shirt coming up. Like I said, I'll link down below. So you pick this shirt up and you get entered to win a boat, a fishing trip with the Guggen Squad, and some free rods and rod socks from favorite fishing so check it out down below i don't know i haven't mentioned it in a while so i feel bad but the contest ends december 31st so if you're watching this b before december 31st click the link down below go pick one up and it'll win a boat maybe you'll win a boat maybe you'll win a fishing trip with the guggen squad um diego and i we're gonna we're gonna move spots hopefully we can find a big fish There's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. That's a big fish, that's a big fish. Yep, fish, good one, good one. It's not a giant, it's not a giant, but it's a big fish. Come on, get in there, buddy. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh, that feels good. It's a skinny guy. He ate it so weird. Did not know I had a fish. Look at him, you see how skinny he is? Yes. He isn't, oh my, this is hands down the skinniest fish I've ever caught in my life. Can you guys see how skinny this is? That Look how weird, the head is giant. And it is just straight skinny. What, what's, what's wrong with this fish, Diego? Tell me what's wrong with this fish. Hasn't had a meal since 1976. Oh my gosh. I feel bad I caught him with a bait. He really does need some, some actual food. <laughs> and just when I was about to lose hope, this dude munched it. But can you guys see how absolutely like sickening skinny this fish is? It looks like someone just, I don't even know, but it's got a big head. Kind of crazy. I mean, it only weighs probably three pounds. It's about the size of a five pounder. See you later, Tamika. Back in the water, Tamika goes. I cannot believe that. How skinny that fish was. Absolutely unreal how skinny that fish was. Never in my life. I mean, I've caught some skinny fish, but that, that one hands down takes the cake. That makes me feel real good. It is. It's like 2.03 p.m. So we've been fishing for a little while. So we've been fishing for a little while. Uh, and usually for like the last three days, the bite has gone better as the day goes on. So we're hoping that we can find some juiciness, but we moved it, we moved spots and it works. So I think we're going to keep on fishing on this bank. And if not, we're going to move spots again and just keep moving until dark till I catch my PB bass. There's a fish. There's a fish. Yeah, it's not a giant, but it's a good one. I'll take it. Not a giant. Come on, buddy. Little guy. We're on him now. Drop the poles. Squeaker. There's one. That's a big one. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Yep. Yep. There we go. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. He smoked it right as it came out of those trees. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, it's a good fish. It's not a giant, but it's a big one. Come on. Get in the net. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! That's a good fish. Yeah. Not skinny. I didn't catch one that hadn't eaten in 19 years, so that's good. Not as big as I'd hoped, but I mean, I'll tell you, that's still a good fish. Four, 14? Four pounds, 14 ounces. Yep. There we go. Almost a five. So good, that's a good fish. It's my, I think that's my heaviest one of the day, but that's, this thing's actually smaller than that skinny one, but he's actually looking like a normal fish. See you later, Alexis. Boom! 
on the spinnerbait. This guy has been clutched so far today, not with any mondos, but I've caught a few fish, caught, caught like a four pounder, that's about a five pounder. We're working our way up. Now it's time for the 12 pounder. Two hours later. Okay. Here you go. Diego got one, you mean net him? You got him. Net? No. Look at that. I literally said, all right, that's it, let's go. I hit my GoPro off. He made a cast and caught that fish. Two pounds? Yeah, yeah, three pounds. Not a bad one. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Well, folks, like I said, we were, uh, we, I literally said, all right, that's it. Hit the camera off and boom, explosion. That was really cool. Finally, Diego caught a fish today. I did not catch any massive fish. A five pounder is pretty good in my opinion, but for the lake that we're on, five pounder is the equivalent of, to a flare fish in the United States. So we're gonna head back. I believe John B and our camera guy Wes will be back now. I, I think they just flew in today. So I think they'll be back. So I'm gonna pick up the camera then. And I'm also gonna show you a little bit around the village that we're in, where we, where we eat. Just There's some cool things. You guys just trust me, you wanna stay tuned.